Today, we're going to talk about V-belt tensioning and how to use a tensiometer. Always be sure to wear appropriate PPE, personal protective equipment, for the job. Please always follow the standard safety practices established by your employer. Proper tension is one of the most important factors necessary for long, satisfactory operation of belt drives. Too little tension will result in slippage, causing rapid V-belt and shiv wear, as well as loss of productivity. Too much tension results in excessive stress on the belt, bearings, and shaft. A common method for drive tensioning is force deflection. The force required to deflect a span length by a given amount is related to the tension of the belt. The tensiometer measures the force required for that deflection. The tensiometer is a spring-loaded tensioning device that is sometimes called a pencil gauge. It comes in single, double, and triple stem versions. The tensiometer can be used on V-belts, banded belts, or synchronous belts. The single-stem tensiometer is capable of measuring force from 0 to 35 pounds and belt tension from 0 to 560 pounds on belts up to 1 inch in width. The double-stem version functions in the same manner but services belts to 3 inches in width and has a force range of 0 to 66 pounds and a belt tension range of 0 to 1,056 pounds. The triple stem tensiometer functions in the same manner for belts up to 5 inches in width. It has a force range of 0 to 99 pounds and a belt tension range of 0 to 1,584 pounds. Now, let's go through the procedure for using the tensiometer. Measure the span length of the drive. Set the large O-ring at 1 64th of an inch for each inch of belt span. For example, Set the large O-ring at a quarter of an inch for a span length of 16 inches, at half an inch for a span length of 32 inches, or at one inch for a span length of 64 inches. Set the small O-ring to zero. On a single belt drive, depress the tensiometer in the center of the belt span until the large O-ring is even with the two shivs. For accuracy, you will need to be at eye level with the belt span or straight edge. On a multiple belt drive, depress the tensiometer until the large O-ring is even with the top of the next belt. Measure each belt in the drive and take the average reading of all belt tensions. Remove the tensiometer and observe that the small O-ring has moved from its original setting at zero to the number of pounds required to deflect the belt. Check this reading against the value of the deflection force in the V-belt tensioning table on the instruction sheet. The most accurate deflection force recommendations are available from Drive Engineer after performing a drive analysis. Access the Drive Engineer web application at www.driveengineer.com. One last tip. When installing new V-belts, check the tension on the drive after 24 hours of operation. Belts relax after seating fully into the shivs. Checking them after 24 hours can often expose installation issues that were not obvious after they were first installed. If you have any questions, please contact your sales representative or your authorized Timken Belts distributor.